Alicia, you gotta learn how to say all these Cajun names. You're not doing too well. No. Let's do it. All right. Boo, boo, da, da, Buddha. 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 No, no. <laughs> Buddha. Buddha. No end. Buddha. <laughs> she hey. thinks she's doing good. <laughs> boo. Boo. And then da, da. Boo da. Boo da. Boo da. All right. <laughs> All right, here we are at the Lafayette, Louisiana KOA Holiday Campground. And this is a fantastic campground. In fact, I was here when I was 12 years old. So it tells you what a great campground it is because it's still here and it's still doing great. Take a look at this huge pond behind me. This KOA has everything. It has the playgrounds, it has the putt-putt course, it's got the fishing pond that they stock, it's got a little bit of everything. And if you're looking for a place to camp out when you're heading between New Orleans and Houston, this is the place. Lots of great restaurants around here, crawfish. You're gonna see some of that in this video. And boy, oh boy, did we have a great time camping here at the Lafayette KOA. So definitely subscribe, hit the like button, and here you go from the KOA in Lafayette. In Lafayette, Louisiana, and thank you so much for watching. Bye. We got another great campground review for you today from How to Have Fun Camping. That's right, my favorite KOA, Lafayette, Louisiana, and this one's been around a long time. Matter of fact, I'm 58 years old, Aliche is 38 years old, and guess what? The fact of the matter is, I went here when I was a kid, and I really wanted to take Aliche to this campground to show her what it was all about and the food around this area being tremendous. I knew she loved seafood. So guess what? We're gonna show you this Lafayette, Louisiana KOA and you're gonna absolutely love it. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, check out our Instagram, Facebook page, howtohavefuncamping.com, our mothership channel with now almost 200,000 subscribers, how to have fun outdoors, our sister channels, how to have fun cruising and how to have fun fishing. We got all kinds of great videos for you. And believe it or not, lots and lots of RV reviews. We just came back from Hershey, Pennsylvania. We were down there for looking at all the brand new 2025 models. And boy, oh boy, did we have a great time. And we got a bunch of great videos for you. So you're going to want to subscribe to check out those. Look at this cabin on wheels. You got all kinds of big time travel trailers, class C's, class A's, class B's, you name it. But back to the KOA. For many of you uh, who don't know, uh, the KOA started way back in 1962 by Dave Drum, and he never gets enough credit. But his whole idea was this campground of America. And today it's over 500 campgrounds. And when I was a little boy, we stopped here and no question about it, the memories of the fishing, the memories of the KOA, the memories of the crawdads, the memories of this area and how friendly the people just stuck with me my entire life. So when we had the opportunity for me to take a leche to this campground, I said, let's go to the Lafayette KOA. We're going to have a great time. This thing is located in a cool location also. But if you're on that Southern Beltway going from Florida over to Texas, you're going to pass right by it. And believe it or not, there is so much to see, so much to do. And it is a really, really great place to go to. And you can drive the coastline to get there. But here we are. Welcome to the Lafayette KOA. We pulled in in the middle of the night. Sure enough, no problem. They had all of our reservations made for us. We were excited. Here's your night registration. And uh, here is the campground with the little map all set up where we're going. Right next to the pond. We wanted to be on the pond just like I was when I was a little kid. And look at there. We camped in the beautiful evening. Woke up and there is the campground. And it's time to go fishing and catch some bass. One thing nice, a lot of these campground ponds, they don't have fish. This place, they have fish. You can see the bass swimming around. So if you love fishing, you've got kids, uh, you're going to have a great time here. And the facilities are fantastic. And this KOA goes back to the 60s. This isn't just some brand new KOA. This has been a successful KOA for many years, going back to 1968. 
For example, take a look at just the laundry room. This is like a laundry mat, and the facilities are fantastic. The bathhouse is fantastic. All of the bathrooms are super clean, no question about it. But one of my other favorite parts of this campground is the local area. Hey, that's what you call crawfish there. Craw that is Cajun style. Yes, that's right. The people are friendly and the restaurants are amazing. If you love seafood, this is a restaurant that I still remember from when I was a child. I actually had our bib as a souvenir and I still have it to this day. My sister, my family. It was so exciting to go back to Lanyos and see what kind of seafood they had and if it was the way we remembered it. It was fantastic. Huge crawdad. That's right, right down here in Lafayette, Louisiana. Look at the size of those monsters. They are huge. You want to come down here and check it out. Nothing like fresh seafood and Aliche loved it. Aliche, what? Hey, how much did you eat? Too much. <laughs> Well, if you love seafood, here's the address for this restaurant and take a look at the price. It's just absolutely amazing. All right, Lichi. Hello. Ooh, a condo nice. shop. Thank wow, you. look at this. Hello. Thing's huge. So between all the seafood restaurants, barbecue restaurants, candy stores, we love this area. And the campground was fantastic also. No question about it, a right. good stop. I'm ready to go. I think that's for the kids, Aliche. It's perfect for me. Hey. Okay, back to the campground. You can see they got nice pull-in sites, uh, good electric, 30 amp, 50 amp, Cement level, no question, really nice. That 112 all the way down. Look at these 108 sites, 107, 106. These are beautiful waterfront real estate. I know, we couldn't ask for a better position. It's yeah. fantastic. These are great sites. So those are some of our favorite sites for sure, but you also have these really nice cabins. Take a look at the pond and how clear the water is pretty awesome and uh, this uh, campground offers a variety of camping accommodations rv pull throughs tent sites cabin rentals like i talked about you can walk around the pond but take a look at the ca cabins i think these cabins work much better on a campground like this where you kind of feel like you're on the edge of the lake and uh, it's just the it versus all crammed together in the middle of the campground uh, the playgrounds are great. You have all of your volleyball, badminton, you know, swings are out there. Really nice setup. Aliche loved it. And I took her to all the places I remember as being there as a kid. We ended up staying here for like three or four days when we were supposed to stay for one night. And that's what made it special too, because we got to go play basketball, hang out, fish, and do all kinds of things. So it's funny how when you're a child, you have all these memories. And how about the pool? Obviously it was shut down because we were there at the wrong time of the year, but they have a big pool area, putt-putt golf course. And you know, like I said, I'm 58 years old and this campground is still a memory in my mind. And here I am an adult wanting to go back. So imagine what that would mean to your children if you're out camping. So we highly recommend this KOA. It's still one of my favorite KOAs. You've got the kayaks, the paddle boats, all kinds of activities for the kids. Take a look at the bass. You know, when you can see the bass in the pond, that's a plus. So many of these campgrounds are like, yeah, we got a fishing pond and nobody ever catches any fish. You can actually see the bass flowing around. Big old game room, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. And as you can see here, they've got the games. Here's another pool um, that they have set up. There's multiple pools in a classic KOA store, um, which is really nice. Um, and then look at here, a nice dog park area where you can take the dogs, the little pet playground, very nice. Also, we got a great interview for you and you're gonna love this. We talk about the whole campground with the people working at this campground. You're gonna absolutely love it. Let's play a little bit of music, jump into the interview so you can learn more about this Lafayette KOA.
All right, Aliche, here we are at one of my favorite KOAs from childhood. I was 12 years old when I came here, Dwayne. Awesome. We've got Dwayne here who... Uh, I was here is, too. Were you oh, here yeah. too? <laughs> and we actually ate at Loños, Loños? Loños last night, had the crawfish, and it was fantastic. We ate there as a kid. I still even have the paper bibs. They don't have them anymore. Oh, okay. But uh, Dwayne, tell us a little bit about this cool campground. Well, we opened in 1968. Uh, the same family has owned it ever since. Uh, it's my dad started it, and uh, awesome. We're still operating. We have fourth generation working here now. So very been nice. Been at it Congratulations. Time, so. Yeah, that's uh, awesome. It's been good. It's been been a, a good ride. So, how many sites uh, overall, and what yeah, what yeah. can you guys? It looks like you can take a little bit of everything in here, right? Oh yeah, we can handle any size rigs. We have about 200 sites. Uh, we have 22 cabins. Uh, we have tent sites. Uh, Two pools and 10 acre lake for fishing and paddle boats and stuff. So, a lot to do. So, Aliche is a, a fisherman. She's uh, fished all over. So, what kind of do you guys stock it or what's in there? Well, it's been stocked over the years. It's uh, largemouth bass, uh, catfish, brim. Uh, there are some white perch in there. So, a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. And then, as far as hookups go, uh, I'm sure you have the full gamut, right? Yeah, anything you need. All right. Yeah. On the hours, for when people check in, when does when does the office close? And uh, right now we're uh, 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Okay, uh, seven days a week. And in the summer, it's a little extended hours beyond that. So, so what are some of the other things you recommend seeing around the area? Number one is to eat the food. It's, yeah, uh, some of the best food in the in the country. And uh, there's a lot to do. There's Tabasco Factory. There's uh, Live Oak Gardens. There's Swamp Tours. Um, it's crawfish season right now, so it's a good time to eat boiled crawfish. So I think you can attest to that. Yeah, we had yeah, some we last had night, so night. you'll see the, you'll see those on this yeah. video. They were fantastic. Yeah. So. Awesome, awesome. All right, well, thanks so much, Dwayne. We really appreciate uh, you taking the time for how to have fun outdoors. Uh, we absolutely love this campground. And uh, Alice, what's your thoughts on this? I suggest to all of you to, if you stop by Lafayette, just stop here at the KOA holiday. Yeah, no, this is a great location, especially if you're going Houston to New Orleans, yeah. New Orleans to Houston. Well, this is a great right. stop well, off. And we forgot one of the most important questions in the interview. So where do you guys recommend we go to lunch today? Uh, I'd go to Uncle T's. Uncle T's? Restaurant. And what are they known for? What do they got? Everything's good. Um, <laughs> uh, boil, they have boiled crawfish, crab, shrimp, um, po' boys, just about anything you want. Wow, that's I'm good. I'm ready for some more seafood, you know. All right, more seafood it is. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> The campground store is absolutely amazing. Tons of toys for the kids, RV supplies, but this Lafayette hosts a variety of events, activities, music performances, outdoor movie settings. They've got a little bit of everything. They've been doing it a long, long time. Love the souvenirs here. Overall, we love this KOA. Hey, glad you're enjoying your visit. Just don't check your cholesterol while you're here. That's right. <laughs> Overall, we give this campground a 10 out of 10, and we don't do that very often. As you know, we rate these on a 10 scale, and we've got a lot of KOAs at 7s, 8s, 9s, some really good ones in the 9s. But as you can see, take a look at all the awards this campground has won, and I love the way that it's paved roads, level campsites, all ADA compliant restrooms and you know there's th this is a great campground no question about it comment down below what is your favorite campground your favorite koa campground your favorite campground from when you were a kid love to hear your thoughts what do you think of this campground comment down below subscribe to the channel all kinds of rv reviews campground reviews and how about this campground? We give it a 10 out of 10, one of our highest ratings ever. Love the service, love the people, great campground overall. All right, we got some incredible shrimp here. We were told that these guys have the best shrimp in the area, and they do, they are fantastic. For sure, myself, Tommy, Rocky and Gypsy, we all had a fantastic time in this campground. And uh, we think that it's a really beautiful location and a lot of amenities and the, la the lake is fantastic. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe. 
smash the like button and thank you so much for watching. Outdoor!